up everybody it's Roya I'm back for another video as you guys can see by the title this video is going to be a fragrance review I wanted to quickly talk to you guys about my favorite fall fragrance right now this is literally the only thing that I have been wearing for the last like two weeks and it's Burberry touch for women I knew that I was gonna love it if I hadn't already mentioned I have been on like a huge Burberry kick the hugest Burberry kick you can imagine. I've gone to Macy's. I've gone to Nordstrom I've gone to Sephora and I've just smelled every single one that I possibly can I've put my eyes on a couple that I want It's not the entirety of the collection that I want But there's a lot of them that I'm like, I really really want to add those to my collection um so when I received this one for my birthday I was over the moon. I also got a summer fragrance, which is Burberry's Weekend, which I talked a lot about the latter of the summer as well. One of my absolute summertime favorites now. Um, but this is a little bit different. This is very woodsy, hence the cap. Um, I have it in a 1.7 ounce um, bottle, but I am going to purchase it in a bigger one once I'm done with this. Um, I was trying to see if it was something I was going to blow through really quickly. And I guess because of the mist on this, I'll show you guys because I have not applied fragrance for the day. I guess because of the mist, you see it's really fine. So I've been spraying it like crazy, but it hasn't been um, dwindling down much. Um, like I said, I've been wearing it almost every day for the last two weeks. Um... Except for on the weekends, I've been wearing something else. But when I go to work, when I have errands to run, when I have things to do during the week, this has been just my complete jam. I've gotten three or four compliments on this already. People have just been like, what are you wearing? This scent is very woodsy. It starts off almost on a citrus note, which I actually kind of like because in the fall time, you don't necessarily want something that's going to be... Um, super warm in the beginning. I find scents that are like that tend not to last throughout the day. As this develops on your skin, you get a very spicy note. You get a very woodsy note. Um, if you are familiar with Jessica Simpson's Fancy Love, this, as it cools down, smells a lot like that. It has that uh, very vanilla, musky, sweet smell not an overly musky more sweet vanilla than a musky scent but the musk is mixed in which is what I like about this it's very light and it's very airy so it's not gonna be um something that's gonna like overpower you I think that this is perfect for daytime I think this is perfect if you're doing like a walk in the park type date um, I would definitely go for something a little more powerful if you were going like full out nighttime. I don't really see this as a nighttime scent for me. But during the day, this just adds a subtle romantic sweet scent that I have been loving. I think this is very work appropriate. So if you're somewhere where you work in close quarters with some with people, this is not going to offend at all. If anything, it's going to make people ask you what you're wearing. So I like it for that reason as well. Um, what can I say? I just really, 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 really like this. You can find this at Macy's. That's where um, Clarence picked mine up from. Now, the thing about that is I will try to link it below on Macy's website. I can't find it on their website, but I've gone in Macy's plenty of times, asked a, either a counter associate or one of the people who's out on the outskirts, um, you know, soliciting fragrance where can I find Burberry and they point me to the whole section and this has been there the 1.7 fluid ounce in addition to the larger size which I believe is a 3.3 fluid ounce um this also comes in a men's version um which smells divine Clarence has had it twice before um and he actually said that he bought this for me because he likes the men's scent so much and he was like I felt like you would really really enjoy the female version of it which I have been um I can definitely tell you that this is definitely geared towards fall and winter simply because of like the cap it's a wood cap that fits very very snug on the top like I said it has a very fine fragrance mist I'm gonna show you guys if it will focus 
what the bottom of it looks like, but it is an eau de parfum as well. So this lasts on your skin a great amount of time. I wore this yesterday and specifically was, because I knew I was gonna do this review for you guys, I specifically like time from the moment I put it on to the moment I showered that night, how long was it lasting? I put it on at about, I left for work at 11. So I put it on at about 10.45 ish or so and I got home at 6.30 and it was still on my skin. Now, I don't know if it was like projecting or super, super powerful, but when I did this, I could still smell it as though I had just put it on my body, which is amazing. Um, it does wash off of you really, really well, so it doesn't leave like hints of it afterwards. Like I washed and I couldn't smell it anymore, but what I will say is this is one of those scents that in the daytime, you're not going to have to reapply. I know a lot of daytime scents, you find that, okay, four hours in, I need to put some more of this on. Um, I will say that with this one, I did not feel that way. I haven't felt the need to put this in my Travelo in my bag and, you know, utilize it in that way. I haven't found that I need to retouch it or felt like I needed to retouch it. Um... I do think, you know, this size bottle is very travel friendly, but this is one of those scents you're not going to have to reapply and you're not going to have to feel like, okay, I'm four or five hours out and I need to put something on because I just smell like nothing at this point of the day. This lingers, it lasts. I've had people compliment me on it after three or four hours worth of wear. You know what I mean? So that means that when I'm passing someone, they can still smell it on my body. Um, it does cling to your clothes a little bit. Nothing that, you know, washing them won't handle but it does tend to cling to your clothes which is what I like in a good fall winter uh, cooler weather uh, type of fragrance so if you're looking for something along those lines I think you cannot go wrong with this this is perfect for the workplace this is perfect for day dates day trips um, this is just perfect if you want to add a touch of luxury in your life during the daytime. So if you've been on the fence or been wondering about this specific fragrance, I say go get it. It's not heavily expensive. I believe this particular size bottle was $75 or $80. Um, it was a gift to me, so I'm not specific on exactly how much it costs because I didn't buy it for myself. But um, I do believe, I'll, I'll check it online, but I do believe it's like 75 or 80 bucks. I will see if they sell it at Ulta as well. A lot of people kind of skip the mark on Ulta when it comes to fragrance, but they're definitely a good choice if you cannot find something in Sephora. I've also found that Ulta's fragrance section is a little more detailed and they really have good sales associates like outside vendors that are there to help you when it comes to picking a fragrance so if you've been on the fence or you've been wondering if Burberry touch for women is a good fragrance I say hands down it is if you've just been wondering about Burberry in a whole I can tell you now I currently have three Burberry fragrances in my collection and I love each and every one of them and I also have one that is a current empties which is a summer fragrance that I love as well so I've had Burberry fragrances in the past and adore them I am on the hunt to find my favorite ones again um i'm actually gonna go into a burberry boutique as well because i feel like who better to tell you about the fragrance than the people who actually sell it for a living like on a day-to-day -day basis um all day every day so i will let you guys know about that as well i may even try to vlog that experience but burberry touch for women is awesome you cannot go wrong and i would buy it for anyone i feel like the age bracket for this fragrance has no boundaries. I mean, my mom's in her 50s. She could wear this with no problem. My grandma's in her 70s. She could wear this with no problem whatsoever. I feel like from 20s all the way up, you would not have an issue wearing this fragrance at all. I feel like the woody, spicy notes in it just make it very unique. I feel like the musk just brings it all together. Um... You just can't go wrong with this fragrance. So if you're looking for something good for the fall and the winter, if you have this in your stash, pull it out. And if you don't, stop by your nearest fragrance counter and check it out because it is. All right, fun. guys, as always, if you're an oldie but goodie, thank you so much for coming through. And if you are new, don't forget to hit the subscription button on your way out. In addition to hitting the notification bell so you guys are notified when I'm posting new videos. As always, I love you guys. Leave your comments and your suggestions below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.